How many times have you been to Oklahoma? I've only been here uh, once before. I did a play, uh, my first musical, I did Little Abner mm -hmm. uh, in Tulsa. We were there for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And this is only my second visit. I'm here visiting the uh, C.R. Anthony people. We do a, a clothing line and uh, they're handling our silk jackets. So it's business and pleasure, but right now the pleasure is really overwhelmed the business. <laughs> Well, you have uh, appeared on stage quite often. Uh, what projects do you have in the near future? We're opening again in Philadelphia with the Rainmaker April the 12th. I just finished the Rainmaker six weeks in Dallas mm -hmm. and uh, got a little time off. So uh, I enjoyed doing it so much that uh, I decided to do it some more. Uh, what is really great about doing the, the theater work is you get good material to work with, as you know, which is so important. And the Rainmaker uh, is a grand piece. Mm -hmm. What about some films uh, that you want, would like to do maybe in the future? Well, that's just what I'm saying. You get a chance to work good material in the theater. <laughs> uh, in the film industry, at my level at this stage, uh, uh, the last 15 scripts I've looked at have been unacceptable. Uh, they're not the kind of roles that I think or my agent thinks uh, would advance me career-wise uh, mm -hmm. or uh, roles that uh, are done in a good taste, kind of mm -hmm. uh, quality work would like to do. Even in the early part of your football career, did you have in the back of your mind and say, well, when this is all over and done, I want to go into the theater, I want to go into the film. Did you always have that idea? You know, being an athlete, I guess you're on stage most of the time, too. And you have that innate feeling. Or I've had the feeling of being on stage for a long time. Uh -huh. Acting, per se, really didn't uh, come into play until I was uh, exposed to a um, first motion picture that I worked in called Norwood. I really didn't plan it. Uh, in the early years. If I had, I would have studied more in, in college and in school and practiced more for sure. But uh -huh. uh, over the last five or six years, I've been working at it uh, quite a bit, and I enjoy it. Uh, when I was watching you uh, come into the, to the building, it looked like you were still in great shape. What, what do you do now to, uh, to stay in shape? Whenever I went with the Los Angeles Rams in 77, uh, they put me on a swimming program. I can't run because I have arthritic right knee, and uh, anything uh, bouncing around irritates the knee while I swim. Uh -huh. I ended up buying a house in California for the swimming pool. I didn't oh, have a really? place to swim out there. <laughs> the houses came along with the pool. That's so exactly that. what happened, yes. Uh, so I do. I enjoy it. Uh, if you have a couple of free hours, say, in an afternoon, and you don't have any commitments or any place to go, what, how would you spend that afternoon? I'd spend it first in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where I have a home also. That's my favorite home, uh -huh. uh, Fort Lauderdale. And I'd probably have started out in the morning fishing. Uh, <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale, I'd do no work at all. Well, we most certainly enjoy having you here, and it's a pleasure to meet and talk with you. And good luck to any project you might come up with in the near future. Well, thank you, Dino. I appreciate visiting with you.